And so Rick Renner has a wonderful, it's, I guess it's like a devotional, and it's called um, Sparkling Gems. And I want you to hear this. In Ephesians 6.10, that's his shirt that he has on, where it says, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Remember, we have dunamis, Holy Ghost, spirit-filled power within us. That's why we pray in tongues. That's why tongues is for today. We can prove it. And tongues, when you speak in tongues, it's, it's, it's like being hooked up to a battery charger. Why wouldn't you want that? And it says here in Ephesians 6.10, it's power-packed, force-filled script. All right, this is what he says. The word power is the Greek word kratos, which means force, strength, power, and dominion. The word might is the word ischus, and it also means force, forcefulness, and strength. But the full revelation and impartation comes when you hear the word strong. All right, so... So this is what he writes. Could you use some extra strength today? Could you use some extra strength today? I want you to draw your attention to the word strong in Ephesians 6.10. It's a Greek word in in dunamato, a a compound word of N and dunamis, and it means explosive strength, ability, and power, and it is where we get the word dynamite. So this word in dunamato presents the picture of explosive power that is being deposited in some type of container, vessel, or other form of receptacle. The very nature of this word means that there's necessarily must be some type of receiver for this power to be deposited into. Well, I'm a receiver. Are you a receiver? And it says here, so Paul tells us to be strong in the Lord. He's essentially saying, receive a supernatural strengthening, internal deposit of power in your inner man. God is the giver, and we are the receptacle into which the power is to be deposited. Isn't that good? We are the rece- We have that power. We have that power of the Spirit of God. So we have that Elisha anointing. And that Elisha anointing is for breakthrough. It's to burst out. It's to to call those things that be not, not roll over and play dead or just like wimp out and say, well, you know, what are we going to do? No, 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 no. Holy Spirit, it's like, God, there's an impartation that he's imparting his strength into us. He's saying, be strong in the Lord. Know that you have dynamite, dunamis power. Like sometimes when I'm praying, and I just, you know when you hear a motor revving up? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Sometimes that's what I hear. Like I'm like, vroom, you know, it's like, oh boy, here we go. But you know, but right, right, something has not happened. It's like, oh boy. And so, you know, but that's fun. And Holy Spirit's fun. So, how many of you want that, right? It's ours. We, we just have to activate it. We don't have to try to get it. We already have it. So let, let's just stand. We have the spirit of Elisha. We have the spirit of Elisha upon us. We have that, that, that glory realm. We have that, that warring spirit. Hey, and I just want to say this. The Lord said this to me one time. He said, you wouldn't like Elisha because he would not be politically correct. He would just really irritate you because you think he's rude. But listen, God used him. God used him. And you know, the other thing that the Lord spoke to me about, you know, in the scripture, uh, Psalm 139, where it says, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. And the Lord said to me, I want you to look that up. And it's the word Y-A-R-E. And it means that we are to be feared. It's not, I took it that we're just so wonderful and fearfully and wonderfully made. No, he said, the dread of the Lord is upon each and every one of you because of the dynamite power of God. We are the dread champions for the Lord. He's our dread champion, but we have the dread champion DNA within us. So I want you to get a picture of when we're walking, it's like, B, five, oh. I mean, we got, we got that kind of power. It's like, like that in the spirit realm that the enemy sees when we're walking. He said, he sends the fragrance he's sensing the power of god in each and every one of us but if we see ourselves as limited and less than guess what he wins but god is saying utilize what i've given you you have holy spirit stop with the playing the games and and straddle in the fence come in or, or stay out but but give god the glory and serve him with all your heart soul strength and mind it's time. We can't play church anymore and just do our little, well, we went to church Sunday. Baloney. Come on. God is saying it's all in. All in. I'm serving him with all my heart, soul, strength, and mind. So, Lord, we just thank you that we are receptacles of your glory. Holy Spirit, 
You want us to be radical. Hey, the word praise, one of the words for praise is halal. And that literally means to be boastful, to be, to literally freak out. It, that's what it means. Look it up. To be totally crazy and boastful in the Lord. I don't know where we got this, but we have to just sit here and be quiet and just sit a little prim and proper, study the word. Lord, we just thank you. But Lord, we also don't want to be hot air either. We want to have substance. Because just because you yell and shout doesn't mean anything either. So, but Lord, we just thank you for your glory. So just lay your hands on yourself because you have authority. And just say, Father, I thank you for the dynamite power within me. And that, Lord, I hear your voice. And that you give me strategies for breakthrough. But, Lord, show me my heart and where there needs to be circumcision. Lord, today I choose to be teachable. A wise man has a teachable spirit. And, Lord, I choose to humble and surrender myself before you. And I have a heart of expectation of the breaker anointing upon my life. Lord, help me to see you in ways that I've never experienced you before. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, we are, we are dread champions for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I just thank you for the spirit of the Lord in this house. I thank you, Father, for each and every one of us. And you're commissioning us. You're saying, you're asking us if we say yes to being in the army of God, to rise up, to be the dread champions that you've called us to be, the ones that will speak to the mountains of sickness, the ones that will be to the mountains of depression and hopelessness and fear and anger and violence, the ones that will speak to our nation, the ones that will legislate that our God is a righteous judge and our God will judge our nation righteously, that we will be ones that will take a stand and not buckle under the, the threats of intimidation and fear of man. But Lord, we just thank you that you're releasing a fear of this man, a fear of the spirit of the Lord. Lord, that is coming back with such fury in our churches, in our lives, where there's a holy fear of God, a fear of the Lord, where we put you first, God, and not concerned about what man thinks. But Holy Spirit, we just thank you for your brooding presence over us. And Lord, I thank you that you're giving us that charge. Like my husband said, you're getting a revelation. You're getting the strategies. And so, Lord, I just thank you for the roar of the Lion of Judah that's over each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah.